All right, guys, got an interesting story to share with you. Where do we begin? Okay, so I've recently uh, gotten back to listening to the Poker in the Ears podcast. For those of you who don't know what that is, that is the podcast hosted by uh, Poker Stars commentators, uh, uh, live tournament commentators, uh, James Hardigan and Joe Stapleton. So in this particular podcast episode, which is episode 313, uh, they shared an interesting story near the end of a of uh, a recent visit to Thunder Valley Casino. Uh, and I think this is an important lesson to share with you guys, uh, my viewers, uh, about the the importance of not chasing bonuses or not chasing progressives on slot machines. So we're going to go ahead and get started here uh, going over what was said in that podcast. But before we begin, for those of you who are brand new to my channel, I want to welcome you all. My name is Michael, but I go by Mike V here on YouTube and on various uh, poker sites. Uh, if you enjoy uh, uh, gambling lessons, tutorials, and me playing online poker, uh, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Definitely appreciate it. I do host a an, an online poker club on Poker Stars Home Games uh, with a live stream every Thursday evening. But we're, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and, and play through the uh, certain segments of the podcast. If you want to listen to the full podcast, I definitely recommend it. I'll be sure to post a link in the description. Uh, but let's uh, let's start with uh, the first uh, cut here. Sunday night, my girlfriend very luckily hit a grand jackpot on one of the slots. On, on, a, one, on a min bet. On a min bet of $1.80, she hit the grand jackpot for $17,500, which was phenomenal. I mean, it was a, a once-in-a-lifetime moment, and it was a great result, and obviously we were very happy. Monday night, we were slightly overshadowed by Alan Kessler, who hit a $1.2 million progressive jackpot at Buffalo Power Pay. All right, so let's stop it there and let's uh, discuss what just happened. So this is the first part of the of the story here uh, for, for, for context purposes. So two big jackpots uh, were hit. Uh, James Hardigan's girlfriend hitting a $17,500 grand. And uh, another colleague, Alan, hitting the top progressive on Buffalo Power Play, $1.2 million. So that is amazing, obviously. You know, well, well done there. But the story gets a little bit interesting uh, as we continue here. So we're going to go ahead and skip over a couple minutes in. And we're going to play this segment here. The reason we get in a conversation is because he's back at the same machine Correct. the next day. And we're like, Alan, what the f*** are you doing sitting at this machine again? Was that not enough? So am I right in thinking he was actually chasing a different bonus and accidentally hit the 1.2 million, but Correct. then came back to try and hit the bonus that he was initially trying to hit? That's right. And the bonus he was trying to hit was at the time was 470 free games um, for, a, for like a mega bonus. And if you looked at around at the, all the other machines, they were all like in the 190 to 200 range. And he said, I've never seen this bonus this high. It's going to pop any second. But Stapes, I'm tired of sitting in this machine. I've been here for 20 hours, uh, including yesterday when I won the 1.2 million. I want out. You can just have it. So James and I were like, cool. We'll sit. We have two hours until dinner. We'll smash this button until dinner comes. Okay, so let's uh, review what we just listened to. So, so the the person who won the one point two million dollars went back to playing it again because he was chasing the mega free game. So I'm going to go ahead and post a picture of the uh, machine in question, Buffalo Power Play. For those of you who may not have seen it before, it's actually a machine I have not seen yet, at least in the casinos that I frequently visit. Um, so 470 free games it was at the time, uh, basically according to this podcast, according to what was just said. Uh, it starts at 50, I believe. So that it took, a, I guess, a long time for it to go up by that much. Whether or not that's a, 
big enough to justify playing it. I mean, if you're going to play it anyway, then yeah, take a shot at it. But but my goodness, uh, the number of hours spent to chase it and it's not hitting, that is... And, of and what was just said, too, about, oh, it's about to hit, you know, that's not true at all. The odds of hitting it, I don't know what it is, of course, but it's, it's, it's going to be the same, and it's identical across all machines. There is, there is no must-hit buy on these, I, I'm pretty sure. Actually, actually, it's definitely for sure there is not, not a must-hit buy. <laughs> So it can go. Uh, it can continue to go up. These uh, the the, the uh, number of free games before it hits. So that is important there to understand. Is don't f fall victim to the chase. But we're gonna continue playing on. It's another three to four minutes of audio to to go through and just listen to this. Uh, let's go ahead and continue. Well, dinner came and went. Yep. And we decided after dinner to get a bigger group together and try to smash it from them. So we started with, a, what I don't know, was it 10 people to start? I think about seven or eight people all putting in like $200. And by 1 or 2 a.m., the money had run out and it still hadn't hit. And the vast majority of those people, including myself, went to bed and was like, ah, we're out of this now. But a hardcore, led by my friend and colleague Joseph Stapleton, stayed at it. A hardcore four of us stayed at it. Jeff Platt, I think, was the last one to peel off and go to bed. And so it was me, TJ Reed, tournament director Justin Hammer, and Tana Karn who decided that we were going to keep playing this for a while. Well, a while turned into 5 o'clock in the morning. And now all the people other than me had commitments the next day and were like, we got to leave. Stapes, you can stay here for a while. They left me with a bunch of money. Tana went to yoga. Justin went to go work at the poker tournament. And TJ needed to get a couple hours of sleep. Um, I stayed at that machine from about 5 a.m. till about 10.30 in the morning. I know, because I saw you in the morning and you were still wearing the same clothes. I'm like, this does not look good. It didn't look good. It didn't feel good. I'm not going to lie. This should be a Sandy the Degenerate story. <laughs> Someone should be protecting my identity, but I'm not. And I felt... I felt pretty bad at that point. Now, here's the only saving grace of this. Somehow we're treading water financially. Somehow, the, now not counting what James and I put in the afternoon, not counting what the group of seven put in, but just the four of us were only into this machine for like a, about a thousand bucks a piece by like noon. But here's the problem. Now we're closing in, and now 470 games has become 570 games, has become 650 games, and this thing still hasn't gone off. Long story short, well, eventually, we had to get a guy who wasn't one of us to come sit at the machine for us. Uh, luckily, um, Haley's boyfriend, Jared, awesome dude, was like, yeah, sounds fun. He brought snacks, and he just sat there mashing the machine while James and I had to play the Ambassador Bounty tournament. And eventually... At 10 o'clock the next night, this thing f finally went off for 870 free games. We did not have the patience to let it spin. We were over it. So we were smashing through this. It ended up play spinning for about 1,100 free games. Because you picked up all more sudden, free games along the way, right? Yes. So we picked up more free games along the way. And we mathematically, we figured that when the thing went off, we were in collectively, the four of us were in for about $7,000. Uh, so a little under $2,000 a piece. And somehow, by the grace of the poker slash slot machine gods, this thing paid out about $7,800. So after having been at this machine for something like 28 or 29 hours, we profited $200 each. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, an hourly return of seventeen fifty. <laughs> That's seventeen dollars and fifty cents for being the most disgusting, degenerate, idiot players ever. We all profited nearly two hundred bucks a piece. Thank you, thank you. Hold your applause. Hold your applause. Oh my goodness! Oh wow. Okay. So. So if uh, what he says is correct, that's 28 to 29 hours on that machine 
him plus, what, three other people. He said the four of them. And that's not including what the person who put the one, who won the 1.2 million uh, put back in trying to chase it initially. And, or the group of eight guys prior to that. So that's not even including that, but amongst the uh, group of four, up until the, the last, until the, until the next evening, like I said, 28 hours for the mega free spins to finally hit and it was hit at 870. Keep in mind the night before it was at 470. And the amount spent $7,000 roughly. And then the bonus hit, uh, the, the, the total bonus amount at the end was 7800 So $800 profit, four players uh, splitting, splitting 200 apiece. <laughs> and seventeen fifty an hour for 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 the effort. Uh, I mean, yeah, they ended up profiting in, in the end, but my g goodness, it took it. It takes that much to get it. And what can we learn from this? Uh, what can we learn from this? And we well, we, what we can learn is that it's never due. It's not going to be due until and you know until it obviously it is. It, it's going to hit. It, it, it may take a long time and and chasing what is, you know what's what's the effort for that it's less than the less than the california minimum wage <laughs> but all right so i'm trying to hear looking at okay i my know so yeah seven thousand spent on the machine finally hits they were lucky enough to get to actually make a profit on it but think think of it this way the average person is not going to be able to spend that much money to get the bonus. And they might spend less than that and never hit it. Uh, it it's just, you you, ha you have to have the, the, the budget to be able to withstand such high volatility. It's like, oh man. And the amount of sleep that, that, you, would ha that you have to give up to just chase this. No thanks. <laughs> I mean, prop, props to for, for having a story to share and and then doing it. This is an example. You know, this is an example that needs to be shared with all gamblers. That you know, the main lesson here is is don't fall victim to the chase. And um, most people most people at the casino are not going to have the budget to be able to put this much money in the machine to hit to hit those free games. So this is just an important thing. If you see some, so here's the moral of the story. If you see a progressive jackpot that's higher than normal, or if you see a free games meter that is way out there, you know, 470 free games, as as was mentioned, then go ahead and take a shot at it. You know, as if it's if it's part of your budget anyway, then go ahead and go ahead and try it. But once you've spent whatever budget you have. Just leave. Or if you double your money through other means, maybe you got a smaller bonus or a line hit, take the profit. And then maybe come back later if you if 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 you're uh you know, if you're doing well and the machine still ha you know, it's not occupied and the and the uh jackpot's still there and you've got and, and you've got additional money in your budget that you that you're willing to play. So yeah, it, you have to stick within your budget. You know, don't do it. <laughs> don't do what they did. And because for the average person, they're not going to have the kind of money to be able to do what they just did. And even then, it may not have, uh, it, they just barely profited, you know. I mean, was it worth it? That's something you got to, uh, you got to answer for yourself. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and end it off here. Let me know if this is something you enjoyed. Links will be in the description for the uh, podcast episode if you want to listen to it in full. And uh, yeah, if you're brand new to my channel and you enjoy, enjoy this video, do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, share this with others. It's especially important. Don't chase bonuses on slot, especially if you don't have the money uh, to do so. Don't chase, don't chase progressives. And hit the bell icon to be notified once I release my, brand, uh, my next video. Till then, I'll see you for the next one. Have a great rest of your day. Take care and go make it happen.